Well guys, uh, welcome to the fourth part of this tutorial series, JavaScript um, templating. And um, in this video, we're going to have a look at how to get underscore and add it as part of our project. Okay, so first of all, let's go to um, this URL here called underscore js dot org. And if you can't, um, if you can't type that properly, just go to Google and search for underscore and you can get to that URL. Okay. So um, first, when you're on that page, just click on the GitHub resource over here, and that will take you to the GitHub page. And scroll down, and if you do that, you'll come to this underscore.js file. Click on that, and then click on raw, and it will take you to the raw version of the, um, the plugin. All right, so sorry, the library actually. <laughs> All right, so just copy all of that and go back to your page. So in our case, we actually have an underscore.js. So just come over here, select all, and then paste it. All right, so we've pasted underscore.js, and then come back in your HTML, and as I said, make sure that you've included it after jQuery. So first have jQuery, then underscore.js, and don't worry about this pagination for now. Just, um, just add the script there or not but we'll come back to that in a later video. And then next, have a custom.js file. So go create a folder called JS inside your project and create custom.js. So if you remember the last time, that's where we had our JSON array or JavaScript objects, right? So JSON means JavaScript object notation in case you didn't know. So um, yeah, so after that, after your um, array declaration, go ahead actually and I'll actually add these files to when this video tutorial ends so you can download them. So because I don't want you to be typing all of this, it's very tedious. So after your ob object declaration, go and start a jQuery document dot ready function. And inside of that, what you want to have is um, you want to, first of all, target your contact template. So let's say contact template equal to underscore dot template and if you remember last time I told you if you want us to use any function in underscore after including underscore you literally type underscore and dot and then call the function you want to call and in underscore if you want to create a new template you call the template function then you pass it the string that you want to use as your template and how you get that string is inside our HTML as you can see in the template that we had we gave it an ID of contact template so we target this and then we just get this HTML um, inside of it so this string here that's what we'll be getting and how we get the string inside an HTML um, element is we do we use jQuery and then we target that element and if you notice the ID it has is contact template and we just say dot HTML and what this will give us, as I said, is the string that's highlighted here, including this whole dot each function. And it will, underscore will take that and create a function for you. So this here right now, contact template is actually a function, all right? So next, what we're going to do is we're going to call um, that function. So we're going to store the result of that function inside of uh, another variable. So we we'll say var resulting HTML equal to contact template and we're going to take contact template function and then pass it an object so an object has to have um, a contact so if you notice inside here when we are looping through each um, of the contacts we call the contacts list contacts so we actually have to pass it an object which has this property so in we say contacts and then what do we want to pass it is we take that list of contacts and make the value of contacts to be equal to that so we're passing it an object which has one property called contacts and yeah that's what it's going to be so next what we're going to do is um we're going to actually populate all um, of the values inside of contacts list here so 
when we pass when we take this function over here pass it a list of contacts it generates HTML for us dynamically so let me just show you exactly what that will do that will create something along the likes of this so right now our contacts list is empty as you can see in our HTML before but if we call that function like we did in the JavaScript it will create something with all these elements inside of it without that display none so we'll have one two three four up until these elements so we're actually going to append that inside of our contacts list all right so let's go ahead and do that now and in jQuery that's very easily done how we do that is we say dollar sign and what's our contact list what class does it have it has a class of contacts list so we say dot contacts list dot html and since this resulting html here has all the contacts um, created by underscore we're just going to say dot html and we just pass it resulting html right so now let's go in our um, browser and then we refresh that page so this is the new page that we had so before actually refreshing it let me just show you what we have there so in our um, page this is all that's being displayed awesome contacts and this is empty so let me just comment that line out that's going to display it so this line let me comment it out if we go in our browser and then refresh as you can see I'm clicking the refresh button all that's being shown is this h1 element over here but when I uncomment this code that should populate um, this area when I go back in the browser and refresh we should see some um, some HTML so hoping that that didn't give an error yeah it definitely gave an error right so let's go in our console over here and see what's going on refresh and it's saying syntax error missing that's in parenthetical hmm right let's see what that is right all right that's gonna be that's not the easiest to debug <laughs> all right let's refresh and see what's happening huh refresh let's look at our call stack and see all right what's happening hi guys um basically i did find out what the error was and it was because we had a semicolon inside of the variable out outputting the value so inside of here we did have semicolons here let me just add that and if we refresh we should get the errors so it's saying missing um bracket in parenthetical so it doesn't need this semicolon so let me just remove that quickly if i remove this and we come back in the browser and refresh we should have the list of um contacts over here and if you notice we don't have pictures here so that's because I failed to copy the pictures in the folder so let me go ahead and do that right now so um, inside of our our um, folder template so there's a folder there called image I'll just paste my um, JPEG image inside of there and We'll come back in the browser and we refresh and we should have my image popping up here. All right. So basically, that's what J JavaScript templating is all about. But this is what we needed to do. Actually, we're done. But let me just show you how to um, incorporate the pagination that we the pagination script that I wrote in previous tutorials so that we can um, have some pagination going on over here, because sometimes this list can be very long. You can have a list that's 100 um in length and we don't want that to fill up our whole page all right so join me in the next video so we can have a look at how to add pagination to this um this um s series and thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video all right and please rate and subscribe and comment if you really uh, like this video and if it was helpful to you all right thanks for watching bye